If you've recently purchased one of these products, which is a M.2 PCIe SSD, chances are that you needed to convert from this little M.2 connector to a standard PCIe connector. Maybe your M.2 connector is not fast enough in your system or you just don't have one. Now you can do it with a product like this one, which does the job, fairly basic. But we've got a new product from Angelbird we're gonna have a look at today, which has got a whole lot more features. Hey, this is Rod from Ram City, and today we're gonna to be having a look at this product, which is the Angelbird PX1 M.2 to standard PCIe adapter. So I'm just gonna do a quick unboxing. We're gonna show you how the product works and the additional features that it's got over a standard M.2 to PCIe adapter. Firstly, cardboard packaging, well done Angelbird. That's all there is in it, there's no plastic packaging. Inside we've got a half height bracket, in case you've got a low case. We've got the adapter itself, which we're gonna have a bit more of a look at in a sec. And we've got a extra heat pads and some screws and a Allen key. So the first thing is the Angel Bird PX1 differs from a lot of other M.2 to PCIe adapters like this one, which is the DT120. The DT120 really just is a pass-through card and that's all it does. So it's very basic and as a result, it's pretty inexpensive, does the job. The Angelbird PX1 takes that to a new level. So there's a few things that it does. One is it converts M.2 to PCIe like you'd expect, but it has this big heat sink and it has uh, the ability to absorb a lot of heat output from the drive. And it also, uh, for case models or people who like things to look pretty, it looks very nice. And it's also got a ring of um, LEDs around the outside, which you can see when the product's actually plugged in. So what I'm gonna do is pull this apart and we'll see what's inside and then we'll show you how to install the uh, an M.2 SSD like this one inside the product. So that's the product with the heat shield off. You can see here we've got our connector. It'll take anything from 22110 up to uh, the smallest being the 2230. And you can see inside the heat shield it's already got a thermal pad there and you could use another thermal pad which is this one. Uh, you can use this thermal pad as well if you've got a single-sided drive. So this one is 512 gigabytes, so it's got chips on both sides. If you had a smaller capacity, like 128 gig, you could use this thermal pad on the other side, which will give you additional thermal conductiveness and you'd be able to keep the temperature even lower. Uh, as far as how well this performs, this product with the drive inside when uh, everything is going flat out on a benchmark. Uh, you should check out the review that was done by Billy Tallis on anantech.com. So just Google PX1 Anantech and you can see he's got a, a really good article there, goes into all the details about the performance of the drive and um, how it specifically performs in and out of this particular product. I'm just gonna walk you through how to install it. It's very simple, it's just like any other PCIe M.2 adapter. So we take our SM951. Now this will handle AHCI or uh, NVMe drives. So to install it, firstly we just need to undo this little screw here. And just insert the drive at an angle, press it down, put the screw back on. Then we just put the heatsink back on. And the product comes with six screws, so you can put one, two, three, four, five. You've got these additional screws here, and just to make sure that it's firmly secured. So that's the Angelbird PX1. So if you want something with a little bit more pizzazz than a standard PCIe adapter like the DT120, not that there's anything wrong with the DT120, then these are a great product. So you've got your additional thermal throttling reduction features, for one of a better word, with the big heatsink, uh, the LEDs, and it just looks really nice in your case. So you can grab these from our website, just click the link below. If you're watching this on um, our YouTube channel and you've got any comments or questions, please put them below. Keep an eye out for new content, or in fact, you don't even need to keep an eye out for new content, just hit that subscribe button over there and you'll get notified when we've got new content coming out. And you can also pick these up from our Amazon store, just search on Amazon for PX1. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.